plate. Is it is this still working? Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use a bathroom real quick.
All right, you there? Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Oh, look at this. Yes, I'm kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. Sure. Tell your friends about me, huh? Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. Sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You uh you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? <laughs> you think old Joe will ever make good on that 50 cents I just invested in him?
Well, that is a flower of some sort. Evil? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, buddy! What the hell are you talking about? Sheesh. Hey, we should probably make our way back to the ship. Don't want to be the Joker's left uh, come behind. come on. I just need one more try at this hey, sucker. Hey, gotta get back. Like now. Yeah. That boarding shutter just came up 50 cents. That's a good point because there was that sign on the wall, that poster that was talking about mustard gas, and then those hints at how the guy wanted the gas mask and stuff like that.
Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Hopefully the curator's cut will shed more light on what has actually gone on. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just not that hard to do. Christ, another body. Wonder yeah, that's true. Maybe the end, the end part is different. Maybe we get to see what Charlie sees. Shit, Buckley. Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean. He was even jonesing for extra security detail. <laughs> At least it's not one of us. Buckley!
What the fuck? Hell yeah. back. Interesting. Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. 
You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. So I got to do what you tell yep. me. So you're like my boss. Kinda, yeah. Sure. You gonna pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Gotta shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. Mm -hmm. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Did they? Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Oh, I see. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Want to crack the cold one with Every second. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Way less needy. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. Ah, uh, damn, Julia. I meant to tell you. What? I kind of told Brad I'd take him on the first dive. Brother thing, you know? Really? Alex? You promised. I... 
You know what, fine. Whatever. <sighs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Yeah, I don't know. It's like everybody in all these games. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Little boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? It's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything. Hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex, come here. I think we got something. I'm so sure it would be here. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Guys, look, I think we got to listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please. I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not, I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive. <laughs> Generously, we're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine untouched? <sighs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, sis. Mm-hmm. Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. You might want to just let it do its thing. I think this might be bogus. <laughs> Well, 
hello. What's this? Yeah. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. I gotta admit, you are down for the count. But that's one less dude on Fliss's radar. I mean, I got the kind of rip bod that puts the wind in the sails of a seafaring gal. But you got that whole brainiac thing going on. That's nothing to sneeze at. Don't worry, stud. She's all yours. Okay, that's my cue to beat it and make my moves on Captain Kiss. Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Good on you, Alex. What? Yeah, definitely. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little, uh, intense. Uh, that's one way to put it. There are laws here and hey customs. Guys, thanks already. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I caught it. And I tossed it back. <laughs> you don't seem to give up easily, do you? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. You know, you're even more intoxicating when you're angry. And I am ready to get wasted. You have literally never spoken to a woman before in your life, have you? No. Hmm. It shows. <laughs> okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Egret Beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. How's it going? Are those two going in or what? Like, I know the weight is interminable, but soon, soon it'll just be you and me. Out of the frying pan, 
All right, kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Tibet Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it <laughs> i mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 <laughs> Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that definitely worth it chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base
they were on their way to help out a ship. No problem. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Fuselage. <laughs> it was kind of hard to describe, but how did you think it was pronounced? Good God. Check it out. Want to go first? Oh. Ah, cheap piece of shit. Co-pilot, gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. You got me again. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your wife is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Keep these around.
How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. It doesn't mix well with high seas. That's how accidents happen. Roger that. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. It's about the Salem witch trials. Maybe that's like the third game. That's based whatever that book is based on. Actually, maybe yeah. Maybe that's the next game. Maybe it has to do with like the witch trials. I don't know why else they would put that random book there. What? Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. We have unexpected guests. Just relax. Do not mention we have people in the water. Uh, what do you think they want? And maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I don't know. Just be on guard. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! We 
got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. No! I guess they didn't need the money. <laughs> the only thing funnier than watching you try to buy your way out of that situation is seeing your money go to waste. I got a smile out of you. Worth every penny. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work. I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. <laughs> okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. Ah, <sighs> uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. You know you can think before you do something stupid, right? It's an option. <laughs> hey, what the hell is going on? Uh... Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh... There's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Oh shit. How well preserved was the plane? I don't remember if you said that last insane. time. It was like traveling through time. No shit. 
Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. I don't remember. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. This badge, Conwyn Island. I was totally right. It was my gut reaction. I don't know. I should have explained myself better, but I didn't. Oh God. What does this mean? Is this new over? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just take some time apart to cool off when we get back. Fuck. Fuck. Let's just. Have this trip together. Keep things the way they are. For now. For now? Until when? Just, just try to have a good time while we're out here. Why we're next? We don't want to just be miserable, right? I'm oh yeah. This is definitely without a doubt anti-aircraft caliber heat right here. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Yeah. So, which I think one she is, did. Uh, you know, where the magic happens. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. My bad. I just right. felt like now the main choices were Let's like funny. Let's take a look funny. at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Alex! Holy crap! I'll were try you to guys like it. in the plane when it broke? Oh, got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight 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 with the locals, pretty good. People always say they have dive experience, but Alex and Julia seem to actually know what they're doing. I actually was trying to do the more so, positive. We're going to get path tomorrow. For them. I just can't resist the funny ones. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Bradder for Brayson Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh, yeah, I do. I, well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, broke up with her though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> hmm, yeah, women. They exist. You're correct. They definitely exist. Especially the one you just broke up with. That one, for sure. What about you? Are you, uh, with anybody? <laughs> uh, no. Not currently. Right here. <laughs> hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. 
Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. I mean, it could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little <laughs> nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about <laughs> such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true, and it happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, <laughs> a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. Seems legit. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Ah, oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper <clears throat> creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees 
It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh -huh. I think he did. Oh, where'd you read that? But his we face did oh, look spooky. But I don't think under every circumstance. the I'm character is supposed to have been able to <laughs> see that. Just us. And buddy. And I'm out. Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. We have to get free right now.
Oh. I'll be back for you later. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck! Motherfuckers! Did you see the curator that time? see what they want to do with us. Right. We can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Dude, can't you count? What do you think? 
working. What the hell, guys? Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. Shit. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Still, all I was scratching my head right there. You come with me. Had my hand hey, off the controller. Leave her alone. What the hell is going on, Alex? Julia, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, but it seems very possible nothing else is. No. And talking to you. Just, please, take the gun off of us. It's making everybody nervous, and nervous people do stupid things. You don't want blood on your hands, do you? That's enough. No talking. They sent summer camp. Couldn't talk at summer camp either. Good one. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Everyone's still alive. Yeah, I'm trying to get Conrad on the boat. Quite different. And I guess um Brad too. Yeah, I'm just trying to do like a kind of different playthrough. Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. wrong with me. Merde. Mais on est où là? Chi. 
Jesus. Uh, nope, no thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. God, keep moving. That's right. That in mind. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. I don't like this place at all. What are they gonna do with us? Okay, all of you, into the room. Oh, really? That's weird. Observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? Well, technically, there are emergency procedures, but this is such an extreme case that. Oh, you were kidding. I, I knew that. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. I know, man, but... I don't know if I got much in me. They knocked me around pretty good. We'll get you out of here, Conrad. Don't worry. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? No, you can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Yeah. 
Sky Miller was really freaked out. Creeping me out. My bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a year. extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am not. <laughs> Figures roaming around. Figures? Ooh, spooky. Like ghosts? He said he thought the rest of the guys were just trying to scare him. What the hell was actually going on? I mean, there's definitely something creepy about this place. This letter is just, just proof that someone else felt it too. Something just feels wrong. About this whole ship. I picked this up in the bunk room. Sounds like this guy is mad at another guy named Patterson for playing sick to get out of guard duty in one of the holds. I guess it's like the third time that happened. They really must not have liked it in the cargo hold. Yeah, the cargo hold, what the hell, right? Maybe it's just a shitty place to work. Or it could be something horrible. Look, we really need to focus on getting out of here. That's it, okay? So it's agreed. We'll take scenic tour of the cargo hold off the itinerary. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Plan? These guys do not seem like the planning type. I heard them say something about robbing the Duke, that this whole thing was just supposed to be a robbery, but once they heard about the gold, they went and got in over their heads. Marine's not gonna help. We gotta figure out how to get out of here. So, what do we do? Escape is our only option. Kidnappings rarely end well, even if they think there's a ransom. Hate to break it to you, but I'm not a rich girl, so it's not like they have much ransom for me. Yeah, Brad and me neither. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. I'll take a look around. I wonder why it's abandoned. Give me a minute. I'm just gonna see if I can get it all. I wonder what happened.
How's it looking? I can't get it open. Come here. If we could bust it open, freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a bit like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. I'm the reason she got snagged. Yep, gotta get her. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Oh, shit. You're right. I'm pretty tired, so why don't we pick this up on the next one? Thanks for hanging out again. Yep.